Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my math lesson is on multiplying polynomials. So for algebra one, learning how to FOIL is a rite of passage. Today, I'm gonna to show you what FOIL means. It's an acronym to help you multiply a binomial by a binomial, but I'm also gonna show you three other methods of multiplying polynomials so that you can multiply any combination a binomial times a binomial, a binomial times a trinomial, or a trinomial times a trinomial. You could even get into four terms, okay? So the methods I'm gonna show you other than FOIL work for anything. FOIL will only work for a binomial times a binomial. So let's get started. Today, we're gonna to multiply binomials using the distributive property. I'll also show you how to do this um, in a horizontal fashion and a vertical fashion. Then I'm going to show you how to use tables, which is my personal favorite, because when we go in later into the unit of study and we are factoring polynomials, this is a great method to help organize your thoughts. And then I'm going to also show you what the acronym FOIL means, which is, like I told you, a rite of passage. If you ask your parents, they've all learned how to FOIL. And then the last example I will show you today is how you can take what I've learned in this first section and apply it to multiplying a binomial by a trinomial and then move on further and you shouldn't be scared of multiplying any polynomial. Our question today and what I want you thinking about, it, I think is this is important, is what method do you believe will be your favorite? So this is a different type of question that I lead off a lesson with, but I want you really trying to try all the examples I show you today. So when I say, please pause and practice, I really challenge you to try each different method because you really don't know which method works for you and your learning style until you have tried each of them. So without further ado, let's do this. So first we're gonna go over the distributive property, which you've learned Far before now, if you're coming to me to learn how to do a binomial by a binomial, you've definitely learned how to distribute. So the instructions will say find the product or mul simply multiply, okay? And we have our binomial term because we have two terms, an x plus 3 and an x plus 9. So typically you're used to seeing something, maybe this x plus 9, with just a 3. And you know to share the 3, multiply the 3 to each term inside the parentheses. So now what we're going to do is recognize that we have two terms that need to be distributive to the x plus 9, which is still, remember, distributive property is still a multiplication um, problem. So we're going to share the x to the x plus 9. We're going to multiply x times x plus 9. And we're also going to multiply 3 to the x plus 9. So this is what it would look like. I take my x, multiply x plus 9, and then I'm going to add, here's where this addition sign came from, right here, because it was x plus 3, x plus 3. And then I have my x plus 9. Now I have two distributive problems, x times x, x times 9, 3 times x, and 3 times 9. Do the math, x squared, 9x, 3x, 27. So now I just need to check to see if it's in standard form. So I'm looking for like terms, and I see that I have like terms right here. 9 plus 3x is 12x, and here is my product. x squared plus 12x plus 27. Seems easy enough, doesn't it? So your turn. Go ahead and pause and see if you can use the distributive property to multiply x minus 4 by x minus 5. Good luck. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So here we go. First thing I did was, I hope you have a teacher that taught you to do add the opposite when you see subtraction. So here's my add the opposite. And that's to keep in mind that this is a negative 4 being multiplied, okay? So I'm going to take my x from my first binomial and distribute it to the x minus 5, the second binomial. I'm going to have my addition sign and my negative 4, so x add negative 4 came from this x minus 4, and here's my x minus 5, the second binomial that I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to multiply negative 4 to both terms. So here we go. x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. So be careful to these negative signs. 
Looking for like terms? They're always in the middle if your binomials are in standard form. Negative 5x and negative 4x are negative 9x. So x squared subtract 9x add 20 is my product in standard form. All right, so let's try the distributive property, but in a vertical fashion. So this is how you learn to multiply way back in second grade. You stack it. Put the x plus 4 over the x plus 11. The order doesn't matter. You could invert that. And then just like you used to multiply, 11 times 4, 11 times x, 44, and 11x. Now we're going to change and go and do this term, x times 4 and x times x. And watch, you always used to shove, move over a digit. We're going to do the same thing in magic. Our like terms are stacked. So now we are going to combine like terms so that we have it in standard form, x squared, and then 11x and 4x or 15x, and add our 44. So there you have it, the product in standard form. Your turn. Please pause and try the vertical method. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So we are going to stack our binomials and we're going to multiply the 8, both terms. So we have negative 24 and positive 24x. Now we are going to multiply the x to both terms. x times negative 3 is negative 3x and x times 3x is 3x squared. Again, our like terms are stacked. We have 3x squared, 24x subtract 3x is positive 21x, and we have our subtract 24, our product in standard form. All right, this is my favorite method. I'm not going to lie. I have to share what my favorite method is. doesn't mean it needs to be yours. It doesn't mean it's the best method. It's just my learning style. So you set up a table which we could also call an area model. I taught my students back in seventh grade how to distribute using an area model. I mean area model because you think of this being a rectangle and having a side of x and a side of 2, and the area is x times 2 or 2x. Two so here we go. I put one binomial horizontally and the other binomial terms vertically. These are interchangeable. You could put the 2x plus 2 here and the x minus 5 here. So then you're just simply going to multiply. It's kind of like a Punnett square in biology. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 2 is 2x. 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Now, if your binomials were put in standard form when you put them in the table, then your diagonal line is going to be your like terms. And as your binomials turn into trinomials and your table gets bigger, you're still going to have diagonally like terms. It's magical. So let's combine our like terms and write our product in standard form. So I have 2x squared. Negative 10x plus 2x is negative 8x. And then our negative 10. So our product in standard form. All right. Your turn. Please, please, please try to use the table. Do your work and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So we put one binomial horizontally in the cells and then the other vertically and we multiply each cell. 5x times x is 5x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. 9 times 5x is 45x and 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. The magic happened again and our like terms are in the diagonal 45x and negative x are positive 44x. So there's our product in standard form. And here we have it. Last but not least, FOIL. So FOIL is an acronym. F first, O outer, I inner, L last. I used to have a, t a teacher that looked like a airline um, traffic controller. She would sit there and go first to her left and then open her hands and say outer and then put them together and say inner and then go to the right. So it was like this little hand dance she did. So this is what it all means. First terms. You look at both binomials and you take the first term from each and you multiply them. You find the product. Outer means you look at the entire product and you take the 
outer term of the products, the binomials, and that's 7x. And then inner is you take the two inner terms and multiply them. And last is you take the last term of each binomial and multiply it. And again, if your binomials are in standard form, you have your like terms right here in the middle and you combine them. So x squared plus 8x plus 7 is your product in standard form. So there you have it. Foil, first, outer, inner, last. Does have a little jingle to it. All right, your turn. I've given you the acronym here. I would like you to pause and try FOIL. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So our first terms are 5x and 2x, which is 10x squared. Our outer terms are 5x and negative 3, which is negative 15x. Our inner terms are 6 times 2x, which is 12x. And our last terms are 6 multiplied by negative 3 for negative 18. Once again, our like terms need to be combined, which is negative 3x. So there you have it, the product in standard form. All right, before I leave you today, I want to show you how you can use at least the first three methods to do any multiplication of any polynomial. So here, this looks a little intimidating if you haven't done it before. I have a binomial, binomial multiplied by a polynomial. So I'm going to use a table because tables are my ultimate favorite. You may choose to do the vertical method or just the distributive property. It works. So you fill your cells. x times 2x squared is 2x cubed. x times negative 7x is negative 7x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. 4 times 2x squared is 8x squared. 4 times negative 7x is negative 28x. And negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Here's the magic. Diagonal like terms. Diagonal like terms. So we have our leading term, 2x cubed. Combine 8x squared and negative 7x squared, and you get positive x squared. Negative 28x and negative x are negative 29x and are negative 4. So there is our product of our binomial multiplied by our trinomial in standard form. So your turn. You pick any method you want except FOIL. FOIL won't work because we have this additional term here. Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I'm going to use a table. x times x squared is x cubed. x times 5x is 5x squared. x times negative 8 is negative 8x. x squared times negative 3 is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times 5x, negative 15x. Negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. Here's our magic, like terms and our diagonals. We combine those for a product of x cubed plus 2x squared minus 23x plus 24. So that's my lesson on multiplying polynomials today. Well, good luck. I hope you enjoyed learning some different methods today and uh, reviewing FOIL or seeing FOIL for the first time. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this lesson. And please come back for ma more magic of math. Have a great day.